photon has a constant rest mass. Throughout the history of physical science, it can be seen that many theories are based on measurements carried out by an idealized observer. The theories are the basis of the laws. Indeed, physicists, following the advice of Galilee, try to measure what is measurable and make measurable what is not so in order to explain mathematically the events of nature. But it turns out that some measurements are false or inconsistent with other ones. And if the theory is evolved, it is because physicists have tried to correct and complete the measurements and observations made by their predecessors. Among the mistakes of ancients, we know that many medieval cultures believed that stars and the planets rotate around the fixed Earth. As time went on, scientists found out that the Sun is the center of solar system. But at that time, Galilei had been sentenced to death by fire. While today, even the children know that it's the round earth which is revolving around the sun. One other mistake of ancients was about what they called the classical element. They supposed that all matter constituted of earth, water, air and fire. But with the progress of science, we realized that these four elements themselves are composed of tiny particles called molecules. So it may well be imagined that some knowledge loses gradually their significance with more advancement in science. I was ready to sacrifice any of my previous convictions about physics. In 1899, Max Planck calculated the energy of photon using the different wavelength. But sometime later, he and his colleagues put this experimental laboratory value equal to the theoretical equation E equal mc2. And this was the problem. So they tried to consider the mass as a variable to make their equation work. However, as we have before explained, the realistic equation to calculate the energy of photon based on its three-dimensional motion is Saleh equation. In our equation, the variables are the frequency and the gyro radius of photon. What is weird is that, according to the wave-particle duality concept, the mass of violet photon is twice the mass of red photon. But even by sight and by feeling, the red light is heavier, stronger and warmer than the violet light. Saleh theory explained the nature of red light taking into account its higher internal energy. In fact, the way the range of frequency is interpreted as the change in the value of the gyro radius and so the color variety of photon. 
When the frequency decrease, the wavelength increase, which cause the growth of gyro radius, and consequently the internal energy of photon grows up. But the mass is always constant.